Welcome back. It's time for our Consumer Watch weekend segment. A weed killer commonly used on produce could soon come with a cancer warning in California. Here's a look at what it means for you. No matter how you slice it, many are concerned about the health effects of Monsanto's Roundup, a weed killer commonly used by California farmers and on as many as 250 types of crops worldwide. Since it was approved in 1974, the weed killer's active ingredient, glyphosate, has been officially regarded as safe. But in 2015, cancer experts with the World Health Organization classified the chemical as carcinogenic to animals and as a probable carcinogen to humans. Under California law, Proposition 65, we're required to compile a list of chemicals that cause cancer. This finding by the World Health Organization can trigger inclusion on our list. Sam Delson of the Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment explains products that expose Californians to one of those listed chemicals must come with a warning. Monsanto sued, arguing the agency must base its findings on state or federal data, not the World Health Organization's. A federal judge disagreed in a tentative ruling. I can tell you that, that glyphosate is safe. Scientists with Monsanto insist the chemical is safe and question the World Health Organization's findings. And the data that they look at, they cherry pick it, and then they interpret some of those studies completely different than the researchers who actually did it. The chemical is classified as low toxicity by the EPA, though it does recommend people avoid entering a field for 12 hours after it's been sprayed. My heart goes out. Some protesters in Fresno claim Monsanto's Roundup caused them or their loved ones cancer. If the state moves forward with the listing, there would be a one-year grace period and the state would develop a no significant risk level. Which is a level of exposure that doesn't cause a significant risk to human health and wouldn't require a warning. Depending on those levels, in addition to bottles of Roundup, Delson says we could end up with warnings in the produce aisle. We don't know if there would be warnings for fruits and vegetables, but it is a possibility. Now, he notes there are other state laws and regulations that limit pesticide residues on produce, so it's not clear how high the glyphosate levels would be. Meanwhile, Monsanto says it will continue to challenge this, quote, unfounded proposed ruling on the basis of science and law. Now, joining us with more on this topic is Ryan Berghoff of the Center for Food Safety. Uh, Ryan, Monsanto says that glyphosate is safe. What is your group's concern with this chemical? So the International Agency for Research on Cancer Cancer, which is a branch of the World Health Organization. Um, it is funded by 25 different governments, including the United States. Mm -hmm. um, they determine that it's a probable carcinogen, and they are the gold standard of science. Um, they have strict transparency procedures, strict conflict of interest procedures, um, and all of their work is peer reviewed. Um, so we listen to that science, and when we hear factual determination from them, we take it seriously. All right, let's talk a little bit about this lawsuit. Uh, California wants to add glyphosate um, to its list of cancer-causing chemicals. Monsanto sued to stop it, saying it doesn't have the legal authority based on this World Health Organization data, that they should instead base it on uh, our own government data, either state or federal data. Uh, explain the lawsuit a little bit for us and how you became involved. Okay, so... Um under Prop 65, it's a voter-initiated legislation. Right. They decided that if um, anything is a known or possible carcinogen, they want to be warned about it. It doesn't make a product illegal. They just want to be known about it. Right. So it would just mean that this product or anything sold with this chemical on it would come with a warning so that you would be aware it was there. Correct. Um, and so we became involved in it because Center for Food Safety is a national nonprofit organization that uh, protects health and the environment from harms associated with harmful food production technologies. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're experts in glyphosate. Uh, we are experts on the IR process and the World Health Organization, and we believe that their evidence is correct. They looked at new rat studies and new uh, studies on farmers that show that there is a link between glyphosate and Lodge Hodgkin's lymphoma. Okay, so you know the state told us that it can and does use the findings from the IR, uh, IARC to add a chemical to the Prop 65 list. They also called it the gold standard. I want to read a statement to you, though, from Monsanto, which notes that, quote, regulators around the world, including the U.S. EPA, the European Food Safety Authority, and the state of California itself, have determined that glyphosate does not cause cancer. The agency's flawed and baseless proposal to list glyphosate under Prop 65 not only 
only contradicts California's own scientific assessment, but also violates California's uh, California and the U.S. constitutions. Now, it's referencing a 2007 study by the same agency, OEHA. Uh, the agency that wants to list the chemical also did a study 10 years ago that said it was unlikely to pose a cancer hazard in humans. And of course, last year, the EPA said it was unlikely to pose a cancer hazard. So how is the, the data so different? Um, well, so three things. Um, one, the EPA and OEHA and these government agencies, they create regulation, they create policy. Um, the World Health Organization does not do that. Their only job is to make a scientific factual determination. Mm. Um, so because of that, the standards are different. So a government agency does what's called a risk assessment. Mm -hmm. So instead of deciding whether something is or is not a carcinogen, they decide at what level is there a risk of cancer. So uh, the EPA may come up with a standard, say one in one million. Mm -hmm. um, if one in one million people get cancer, that's an acceptable risk. If it's less than that, um, then they're saying that there is no risk of cancer. What, what World Health Organization does is they say whether or not something is or is not a carcinogen at any level. Period. Period. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here for the clarification today. Again, this is a tentative ruling, so it is not the final ruling. We will wait and see what happens. Uh, but now, for more information on this topic, you can head to our website, cbssf.com. Devin, back over to you.